Gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the back. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up if you want. Let's go to war. The stay down for our main event. Final instructions from Travis Mattia. How will this one go down? Will Lazar try to blitz Richmond from the opening bell? Will Richmond try and draw Lazar into deep water? Is the hype real on Lazar Stoyadinovich? Can Richmond ready? survive fight. two years of ring rust? Michael Chevello, Pat Milicic, run track with you. Both southpaws. Stoyadinovich better stay off the cage here. Outside leg kicks early on from the Bronx Bomber. There's the fast hands. High on the balls of his feet, dancing around. Goes body, goes head. Richmond power, I tell you. Richmond can't keep that lead hand too low, though. High kick there from the Bronx Bomber. Oh, nice clipping right. Right on the jaw. Richmond didn't even blink, dude. Checked it. Nice. Richmond openly criticized the caliber of opponents that Stoyadinovich has faced over the last seven years. Only seven of them. Stoyadinovich said he'll knock him out inside of two. We are seeing the hand speed so far of Lazar Stoyadinovich. I don't like how Richmond stands straight up after he gets done throwing punches. He needs to step out to an angle and disappear. Richmond throws punches down the tube. They tie up against the cage for the first time. The ex-Marine sergeant edges forward. Never an ex-Marine, my friends. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Thank you, Pat. Outside leg kick from Richmond. Just for future, so you don't get your ass kicked by one. Oh, I appreciate it. All right. Fouls with the cross there, Richmond. Nice glancing left down the pipe from Stoyadinovich. Body shot. Both men trading hands, jumping. Oh, there's a knee that almost became a front kick. I don't think it quite knows what I want it to be. Not set up at all. Spinning hook kick. Stoyadinovich needs to stick to bread and butter. Nice. As Pat said earlier, Story Dinovich has landed some flush hands to the jaw of Richmond, and Richmond hasn't flinched. And you've got to wonder what mental effect that may take on Lazar Story Dinovich. Well, we're going to find out if he's got endurance because he's throwing punches, and Richmond isn't falling down. Nick Kalikas tells us Richmond closed at minus 210, Story Dinovich at plus 160. Good hard shots by Story Dinovich that then breaks free. Nice left hand from Stoyadinovich, drifts off to his left. Richmond needs, see how Richmond's standing straight up and backing straight out? He's gonna get hit with some shots doing that. Richmond's only ever been knocked out once. It was in the first round back at Bellator 79 in 2012 against Shabalat Shamalalev. Lazar hitting hard, man. Good combos. Yeah, they're telling him to faint. Now he's starting to do it. Got to keep your opponent guessing. <laughs> Turning back kick, hunting for the liver. 115 remaining. You know, set that stuff up with punches. Throw a combo and then spin. Nice head movement on his way in. Oh, he got clipped hard on the chin, Mike. Stoyadinovich backing up Richmond. Richmond clinching, glances up at the screen to see how much time is left. Stoyadinovich's hands are proving fast and mighty. I tell you what, though, Stoyadinovich took a massive punch on the way in here to this clinch. He staggered off of it. Body shot from Stoyadinovich. There's the speed. Crossing elbow. Nicely oh, done from Richmond. Tight. Got underneath the right arm. Beautifully done from Richmond. Stoyadinovich trying to keep his hips back. Good job getting the underhook back in here. He's going to lift that. Richmond putting the power down on him here. Hey, 
Richmond caught him with a nice little Short left down, hook, down. a right hook, I should say. Double jab cross from Stoyadinovich. Good weave under from Richmond. End of the first round, we go to the towels. Let us know your thoughts on Twitter at Chevello Voice, at Pat Militich, at up. In round, first round, an even round, says Pat. Can't split them. Stoyadinovich landed probably more techniques. Richmond landed more Sorry, power. Ready. Mike, ready? Both men Mike. did say they would finish each other inside of two. Let's go to Ron Crack at Richmond's corner. Yeah, Greg Nelson and Mike's brother, Sean Richmond, told him to use more feints and set up that jab. They want him to use his speed as well. Michael. Thanks, Ron. Nice weave under. Stoy Dinovich on the front foot. Nice. He, sat, he really tagged him with that one, too. Uppercut. Some dirty boxing in close here from Stoy Dinovich. Knee was a little low, perhaps. Uppercut. Right hand to the orbital. Stoy Dinovich now getting some fluency. Oh, pouring it on. Richmond took a lot of shots against the cage there. There you go. Look at him. He's coming right back. Solid left hand from Richmond. I'm recognizing that bad habit of Richmond of pulling straight up and lifting up his head after he's done throwing a combo. I'm saying, man, on that break when he backs out, skip, skip that lead leg head kick and catch him going out. Thank you to a right hand, high knee. Not turning the knuckles in on the hook though, Richmond. Stoy Dinovich almost left himself exposed for the counter left. Stoy Dinovich's corner is saying speed over power. Smart. This is where Stoy Dinovich has capitalized a couple times on Richmond. Richmond can't be lazy in here. Nice. That lead leg head kick, I'm telling you, is open for Stoy Dinovich. There's been no ground in this fight as expected. Stoyevich kicks out the lead leg. Nice shot punching his way in here. Spinning back elbow to an uppercut. Oh, nice. Yeah, Florian. There's our cats and dogs in here, buddy. Fantastic main event here at Legacy Fighting Alliance number two. You got using enough feints or fakes. Front kicks off the right leg those, from Stuart Dinovich. Uh, Richmond winced off those body kicks. They heard him. Oh, he got stuck hard. Beautiful left hand being the power hand of the sample. Here he comes, Lizard. Here oh, wow. comes the flurry of the fast hand. The knee, the hands again, the uppercut. Richmond taking punishment against the cage. He got hurt with the left hand that started all of this, Mike. Stoyadinovich needs to pull the trigger again on a flurry. Richmond may be fatigued. Oh. Toe to toe, what a slugfest, what a battle. Trying to pull the head down for the knee. Richmond breathing heavy. Stoyadinovich comes forward. Come on, come on, come on. 30 seconds. 
What a rough fight. Blood just pissing out of the nose of Mike Richmond. Oh, and he catches him again with a hook. And there's the power left. Richmond taking a battering. Uppercut. Hooks again from Lazar. Richmond has taken so many hard punches. Jumping knee almost shaved his nose off. Richmond is a bloody mess. And that is all Lazar Stoyadinovic. Holy cow. Stoy Dinovich looks pretty fresh actually, not breathing too hard. Those body kicks, I'm telling you, right before that left hand that wobbled Richmond, he absorbed three front kicks to the body, right to the solar plexus, and that set the momentum up for Stoyanovich to unload. There's that beautiful left again. Look, right over the top of that lazy right hand of Richmond. You can't let somebody get momentum going like this. You gotta tie him up, hit a takedown, stick him with power, make him back up something. Third and final round. Big hello to the boys from MMA Junkie Radio in Las Vegas. The goes and gorgeous George who are watching live on Access TV. No doubt about it. Second round. 10 9 no, for Lazar. Mike, you ready? Let's finish it. Did Mike Richmond underestimate Lazar? Let's go to Ron in Stoyadinovich's corner. Message was simple, Michael. Dino Spencer, his boxing coach, said more head movement and keep throwing bombs. Simple indeed. The speed overwhelming in the second round from Stoyadinovich. Jumping front kick, spinning back kick. Don't want to get overly fancy. No. Like I say, if you're going to set up that spinning back kick uh, or throw it, you got to set it up with... You know, throw a cross lead hook and spin into it off the hook. Nice popping jab from Lazar. Backs up Richmond again. Richmond pressed against the cage. Stoyadinovich doing a good job keeping pressure on him. Inside ties, they're battling for inside control here. Time is becoming an enemy of Mike Richmond. Good movement again from Stoyadinovich. Caught him with the left. So too did Richmond. Stoyadinovich taunting him, wanting him to throw so he can counter him. I love this kid's spirit. Spinning back fist. What has Mike Richmond got? What tricks up his sleeve, the veteran? He can't sit back and let Stoyadinovich dictate the pace. Beautiful combination. Wow. And again, Stoy Dinovich, more combinations than a bank safe. Putting a pounding on Richmond against the cage here. Bang to the body. Muay Thai clinch and a high knee. Richmond tough as nails, my goodness. Nasty Uppercut elbow. elbow, crossing elbow. Muay Thai coming into play from Stoyadinovich. <laughs> Under two minutes for Richmond to try and turn the tide, to try and swing the pendulum. Tough fight to take after a two year layoff, that's all I'm going to say. 
But is Stoyadinovic fading? Or is he just pacing himself? I think he's pacing himself. When will Richmond put the foot down and go? One minute 30 now. I don't know if he's got the wind to do it. Body head again from Stoyadinovic. I love it when a lefty goes to the liver with that back hand, that rear hand. A lot of lefties have trouble doing that and committing on it. They're worried about getting clipped coming in. But he did it nicely. Don't grab the gloves. Sixty seconds to go in the fight. It is all for Mike Richmond to do. Work rate is too much for Richmond. Oh, body kick almost folds him in half. Time. Uh, was it the groin? I thought it was a groin. I'm not sure. Corner over here. We'll take a look at it in a moment. Lazar being a good sport about it. Right here. Certainly wasn't deliberate. Lazar. Right here. Huh? Reset him. You good? Yep. Short time, so you good? You know, I think sponsors like grind kicks. Look where they place their <laughs> big logos. Ready? Good fight. Richmond says he's okay to go on. He's got to do something here, Mike Richmond. Got to pull out those stops. Just throw bombs. Nice left hand again from Stoy Dinovich. Stoy Dinovich is in and out. Hand speed, everything is giving Richmond problems. Is there a Hail Mary shot now for Richmond? Short time. That's what he'll need. A big Hail Mary shot. But not tonight. Let us know your thoughts at Chevello Voice, at Pat Militic, at Agra. I think that was a hell of a fight. Comes over to us and says, I told you guys, I'm too fast. Certainly was tonight, wasn't he? My word, faster than a speeding ticket. Ozar Stoyadinovich. Marketable kid, man. Really marketable. Great mover. Got to fight a lot more than seven times in seven years, though, Pat. Well, like I said, to his credit, nine fights canceled. Guys backing out on him constantly. I'm number one. I'm out here. You know, he's not the one canceled. I'm in the UFC. Number one, but for now, I really can't see, though, in the LFA now, them failing to be able to match him up. There is so much talent in the combined legacy in RFA now, they can make so many matchups. Oh, yeah, there's guys here that will fight. Speed wins out. Great main events, as Pat said. Let's take another look here. I'll tell you, just uh, really. Fun to watch him. Good distancing, spacing, staying busy. Got got angles better than Richmond did, and many times throwing that left hand over that lazy right hand to Richmond. Mike, you're the man, bro. You're the man. Uh, you keep it up. Hey, Mike, buddy. Hope you come around. Richmond, tough, tough dude, man. Thirty twenty-eight, first round even, said Pat. No doubt the next two story in a bitch. Let's go to Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges score the bout. 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Lazar, the Bronx Bomber, Stoyadinovich. The hype is real. Lazar Stoyadinovich, 12 and 5. His first fight ever in LO fight. And he's going to have a word with Ron Kruk. 